But I can tell you, I've been dying to show you this. We've dragged it out of the garage. This is finally the first finished Gen 3 chassis, which will be the staple of the supercar's diet going forward. And I mean, just, just look at it. It is just a thing of beauty. It's all chrome molly tube. In fact, you know how much tube's in this thing? If you had to guess, you'd probably say, I don't know, 30, 40 metres? Well, Lang Park, 100 metres, a football field of tube, 97 metres is in this thing. And where there's been some clever work done here, yeah, it's stiffer, it's stronger, it's safer. There's been some work so taller drivers can sit in a more ergonomically friendly position. You can see there's been some mods done down here in the footwell area to make that happen. So there's been some work. The prototypes are behind me there, but this is finished. Now, teams can take this in a a packed form, if you like, and assembled in themselves. This one is done by Pace Industries, who's building a lot of them for teams. This particular one is going to Brad Jones Racing. The really clever thing for me here is what supercars have done, a lot of work. In fact, it blew me away when I found this out. They've modelled this whole chassis to be able to accept eight or nine different variants, manufacturers of different two-door cars out there. Not just the Mustang and Camaro, if someone else wanted to come along and play, the wind-licked surface of their car would clear everything on there. That is utterly, utterly brilliant. And then back here, quickly I'll show you, you see these little, you can just see there's a little break down there and there's a little break there. So if you have a shunt at the rear here, you can literally take what we call a back clip off and put another one on. I like that. Now, let's swing around just quickly and have a look at the cars. I'm quite excited about this. I'll tell you why. Craig Lowndes drove this car around here on Thursday afternoon, I think it was. He did an 8.9 lap, 68.9 seconds. We analysed Will Davison's times yesterday in the race, over the course of the race, 69.0. So this thing at Sandown, it's just a prototype, it's not with a team, is already faster than the cars out there. That is great news. And Craig Lowndes said to me, it's hard to drive, you've got to work harder. After about 10 laps, it starts sliding around. The brake distances are longer. He said to me it was exactly like driving a Commodore back in the 90s. Bingo.